We have been fortunate to be able to spend our time in a peaceful and affordable marina filled with wonderful people while our engine has been getting fixed. Now that it's time to untie the lines and get back out there, it feels a little nerve-wracking. But we know once we get back into the routine of sailing, that feeling will dissipate. Leaving the marina feels bittersweet. This place served as a safe haven for us when we needed it the most. Our engine started smoking. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So the only thing that we have to do now is get a new head gasket and get a new uh, air, uh, exhaust manifold. But we're eager to continue on our sailing journey. Being back out here in the water, we quickly realized what we have been missing. We chose sailing simply because we always enjoyed it. When we first started sailing, we used to go out on the weekends in the small beach catamaran. We would have a blast trimming the sails and just having fun. Now we took this to a bigger scale. We have a 41 foot sailboat that we restored. It took us four and a half years, but now that we're doing this as a young family, it has definitely been well worth it. We miss the wind in our face, the healing of Alma and the sense of adventure. Our original plan was to make it to Maine, but with the engine set back, we had to adjust. We realized in the sailing lifestyle that you learn to be flexible as variables often change and influence the plans you had in mind. Our plan is to continue sailing up north, heading towards Virginia to escape the hurricane season. Making our way down the ICW has been good this time around. No running aggrounds, yet. No love bugs or huge trees in the way, and we have been able to do more sailing, which is always good. When traveling down the ICW, we wake up very early, Aria being our alarm clock. We have breakfast, take Sophia out, set up the electronics, and lift the anchor. We aim to go 50 to 60 nautical miles, sometimes less or more, depending on the route planning we did the previous night.
Getting back into the routine of sailing takes a little adjustment, but you get the hang of it and soon it becomes like second nature. This routine has worked well for us when traveling through the ICW. This area has few bridges, which is really nice, and being able to drop the hook before nightfall is great, especially when traveling with a baby. Now that it's getting close to sunset, we look for a solid anchorage nearby. Now let's enjoy the sunset, have some wine, and relax. Cheers to all of you out there who are living or making your salty dream come true. Thanks for watching. Join us next week as we continue sailing down the ICW and make it to Virginia. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a fast and free way to help us out. If you want to join our sailing family and further support our journey and help improve the quality of these videos, check out the link below. With as little as $2 a month, you can have access to neat rewards. Every bit goes a long way.